let us understand how do we diagnose aortic stenosis. Aortic stenosis is diagnosed based on the history, which means the symptoms of the patient, 2D echocardiogram, that means it's an ultrasound based investigation which is very commonly done in even the smallest of the hospitals where a doctor or a cardiologist would do an echo and assess the heart function and the functioning of the aortic valve. Third is the CT scan. So if a patient is having symptoms which are suggestive of aortic stenosis, first thing is consult a physician who is going to auscultate you and he might find a murmur in the heart. This will further lead to investigations which would be a 2D echo where the aortic valve functioning and opening will be assessed. Now, if the patient qualifies for a transcatheter aortic valve replacement procedure, the further test would be a CT scan, which will help us to understand what is the type of valve to be used, what is the size of the femoral vessels or any other blood vessel through which we have to replace the valve and what size of the valve will be used. But the most important, are there any red flags in order to replace this valve? Are there any challenges which we need to be careful when we do this valve replacement? So proper investigations is very important for patients suffering from aortic stenosis and this will help us to do a proper planning of the procedure.